So hi there, welcome to data finalization. Welcome to data finalization. So here we are done with the cleaning. We have done all the things we can do to make sure data is credible for analysis or for review. But there are just a few things that need to be addressed. So the best analogy to use here will be, you know, the analogy of a cooked meal. So you have cooked the main meal, but you know, there are things like garnishing that you put there. Some add salad to jollof rice, put plantain, uh, could, you know, try to drop some coke or something, a drink to go with the meal. So that's how data is. So you've done the main cleaning. But right now there are a few things you tidy up so that you can give it to the end users so there are a couple of questions that we ask you know we ask the how we ask the why we ask the who these three questions will greatly help you in bringing everything to a close so your data is ready so see it like a bride is taking her bath for her wedding or something and she's dressed up but you now have to put the earrings the accessories and every other thing that helps to beautify and align and prepare for her day or she's going for a job interview she's dressed but now the dressing and the way you finish her up is different from the finishing touches you give for someone who's doing a wedding than someone who's maybe at her first day on her job you know so that is basically how we we are talking about finalization so the data is basically ready but a few more things to do a few more things to note in order to be able to present it for your target so these are the three questions that will guide finalization how should the data be packaged how and um, why was it collected in the first place it will guide you in in um, finalization and who will use the data so let's look at a few examples if the data is going to be used to produce maps for example um you you would you will know that the way they are point data but explain that a bit in module i think module eight or nine no eight you know we've gone back if you go back you check the module where we had explained so you have point data line data polygon data so you have to be that so the gis experts or the gis users will need the data you've cleaned up everything the labels are on order but you have to pay attention to the ideas the gps software requirements some people prefer that you concatenate longitude and latitude in a string form <laughs> some other software require that longitude and latitude be separate so these are the things you need to know do you want it in CSV or Excel? Because it's the 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 GIS software has different formats in which they collect data. So sometimes data is even already in concatenated form, but you have to split it. For example, you're using Google Studio, it's already concatenated. So these are the kind of things that you need to worry about when you are finalizing for maps. You know they're going to use your data to produce maps. You want to be able to check along these lines that you have finalized and done some final minutes moving around for the sake of that finalization. Okay. So the other one is if it's panel data, this one you really have to be careful. Panel data means data is collected more than once over time. So the entities will be compared over time. And the person which is basically the analyst here. So please, entity IDs, ID variables are very important here, you know, and then you have to be sure that in your data set, you have variables that help to track migration. People may have moved, you know, and then strategic naming conversion so that you know that, okay, when you're comparing the end line, with the baseline or the midline, you know what to do. And then we have what we call the data integration strategy because ultimately, You'll be having different sets of data talking to each other over a period of time and how the data is exported and integrated when they are doing data collection, maybe at midline or end line. So the whole idea here is that things are going to be compared. So your ID variables must be on point. They must be a top notch. They must be, you must be able to identify each observations uniquely. All data sets, even if they are rosters, like we had explained in this, in this class, whatever they are, 
you must be able to to do that so please note that for 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 data finalization so another thing for data finalization is when you're talking to policyholders now you know some people will have to collect data in in an in i don't want to use the word animated form but in a visual form that's the word you know so you need to be very clear about your variables don't use too much bogus words in your labels you know be careful to your categorical variables and continuous variables because you use them to produce charts be careful about your ratios make sure there are no outliers with your ratios they're not too high not too low they make sense within the parameters so that people who are non-technical people can understand these things because these people may have not studied what you study in university but they need to act on your data to be able to probably better lives or better a segment of society so it's very important that you keep it very simple straightforward very easy to understand maybe you even say if a 10 year old can understand this then you know such a, it's like a benchmark so that you don't have to be explaining or explaining some concepts so that's how it is basically for finalization these are principles i just gave three examples there could be other targets but you need to f always ask who we use the data and what's the best format in which to put it and why the who was collecting the data you know these are the kind of things that will guide you so if you have any questions about this just let me know uh, in the comments um, in the next YouTube uh, video or next lesson we are going to go deeper and we're going to ask so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share with people who will learn fellow students like yourself fellow colleagues at the office and if you are a teacher and you have found it difficult to explain one or two things to your people please feel free to share with your students share 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 with people who will find this very useful thank you so much for your time and i'll see you in lesson seven when i will talk about documentation and the power of that Thank you so much. See you in lesson seven.